Waters. Uh, I'm Michelle Gertman and I'm the Executive Director for the Haven Veteran Women's Shelter and Rec Practice Center here in Boston. And I just wanted to take a minute to let you know that we are taking substantial funding cuts and we are asking you to look at an ARPA proposal um, and, and talk about funding the shelter and the rec crisis center. The governor's office, we have talked to the governor and they're trying to see what they can do, but we're kind of in a big, so Washington messed up. I know it's hard to believe that they made an error, but it was a formula error in all of our budgets across Georgia, across the United States, not just us. And so we're going to lose 36% of our funding. And for God also the Haven, that's $455,000 that we will lose here in God Asta. We will lose it for two years straight. The formula has been fixed, but it won't, they can't replace the money because they work a year in arrears. So it's going to be about two to three years before we see that fix and see any of that money come back to God Asta. I was looking at our budget today, and we spent about $350,000 back in our community and just buying groceries local, relocation of women and children, transportation, utilities, things that we spend right back here in, in town. And we have about 25 staff, and, and we don't want to have to lay off staff, but we will. We can't take a half a million dollar cut and not lay off staff, and that's just going to reduce services and programs and what we can do. We're required to be 24 hours a day. During COVID, we never close our doors. We're at 141% increase in temporary protection orders. Our numbers, we serve more women, over 800 women and children. We serve more women in 2020 in one single year than we served since we opened the doors in 1986. It's very important to keep our program open. And we have never been to the city and asked for money. I've been here 13 years, never asked for help. I am asking for your help with our money. We need your help, and the Haven needs it. And women and children, we serve need it. And rape crisis, uh, sexual assault, People need it. So we're asking you to consider a proper funding. Mayor, Mayor, may I ask a question? Okay, please. Um, did y'all receive any PPP funds? We did not. So because of federal regulations, they considered that maybe the duplication of services and supplanting. So we had actually got two hundred seven thousand dollars in PPP, and we had to return that to the bank. So we never got any PPP money. We returned it back to commercial banks. So y'all basically function on what you had in your budget. Yes. COVID and everything else. Yes, and we always just have to start for our annual fundraisers and you know Mathis was closed down and we couldn't do our annual fundraisers so we missed two and a half years of fundraising. Okay. Mayor, can I ask a question? Sure. Yeah. Are you uh, good? How are you? Well, let me ask you this on the, the two years and get the formula back how it should be. Are they going to reimburse you what you should have got so they're just gonna fix the formula That's and move forward. And yes sir. reimbursement back. Correct, but we won't get any reimbursement back. They'll just fix the formula and we'll move forward from that. Right. So if we lose a program, it's not like they're going to come back and say, oh, we want that program. We have to build back up. And we can't serve. I mean, we spent, you know, $67,000 in groceries last year at the Haven. We got people in hotels. We're having to social distance. It's just very hard right now. Thank you, Thank you for that presentation. Thank you for what you do for the agency as well. Um, we wish we didn't need you. Well, me too, thank y'all for the time. Thank you. And uh, just a point of clarity to her, um, she and, and uh, Michael Smith gave me a, a lengthy presentation, probably about 45 minutes of it, so it takes a lot more to it. They're, they're very worthy of it. Um, I didn't even see him sitting there, right, Michael? One more citizen.